Welcome to V Arcana, a role playing adventure. I am your host, Danny K. I am joined by Mr. Green Elite. Oh, hi. Hi. Andy Falco. What's up? Mendachi. Howdy. Quasar.exe. Hey, yo. And Zombie Potion. Whoa, whoa. Hi. This <laughs> is our Session Zero event of a lo- of uh, this brand new launch of a show on the Next to Nothing Network. I'm so glad you guys are joining us today. Before we start, let's talk about the game that we are playing. This is a role play adventure. Like I said, it is being played with Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Uh, a couple of like homebrew stuff that we're doing. Uh, uh, we are doing the Warriors Codex revised homebrew rules for weapons. Uh, so we have an extended weapons uh, library. Uh, we uh, Indy Falco is using a homebrewed artificer class. Uh, Indy, tell us just a little bit about that, like where like where it's coming from. Uh, it is from the author Kibbles Tasty uh, and from the website GM Binder or GM's Binder or something like that. And uh, it's just a really cool artificer revision that I think happened before D&D themselves or Wizards of the Coast revised the artificer. Uh, but it's dope. There's more flexibility uh, and it's a lot of fun. It's pretty, it's very on theme. It's great. Excellent. And then uh, Quasar, you are using the Critical Role Blood Hunter class, right? Sure I am. Okay. And then uh, we have one other rule that we're going to mention. This is really, really, really important. Okay, zombie, uh, zombie potion. You only get to say D's nuts once the entire campaign. Oh, oh, oh no. choose wisely. Oh, no. Don't blow your load too soon, buddy. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure, bud. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! So no! 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 Once the entire campaign. That's all mm. you get. One D's nuts jokes. It's making what me sweaty. Ha- wait, what <laughs> happens? Wait, I need to know what happens if I fuck up and say it twice. You're dead. Uh, the second time, <laughs> TPK. <laughs> TPK. <laughs> Don't drag us into it. He's dead. He's dead. No, no, no. Um, I think a fair rule would be that you decrease a level. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. oh. rude. Yep, just oh. you. You decrease a level every time you Ow. say D's nuts more than once. Ow. Oh, wow. <laughs> but we I'll are... rip in advance. <laughs> just wants to hurt me. <laughs> like I said, this is a session zero, so we're going to introduce you to the world. We're going to introduce you to our characters, get into a little bit of combat, and then hopefully you guys will join us for our session one which uh, we'll uh, schedule at a later time. But let's first start with an introduction to the world. The year is 2050. The world is somehow not a smoldering ball of nuclear waste and salt water. In fact, most everything has stayed relatively the same. Some borders have changed. There's now a super pope, and VR has become the has become the most predominant method of computer interfacing amongst the world's population. The most popular of the VR devices was developed by a man named Ethan Tusk and his crack team of developers, and it's called the Brain Jar. The Brain Jar is a highly complex device that interfaces directly with the human brain and can adjust the body's basic functions to enter a near hibernative state. But before I bore you, with talks of Neural Jack's highly unethical human experimentations that involve chemicals like Compound XLDCK7. Let's talk about the video games on the Brain Jar. There's Space Jet Simulator 75, which is actually used by the Republic of China America to train their fighter pilots for low orbit missions. Or the Life Simulator, What Could Have Been, which lets anyone discover what could have happened if they followed their dreams instead of becoming a CPA. But the game that has truly captured the imagination of the populace is called Cosmos of Conflict, created by Ethan Tusk's own team, and literally literally brings players into the high fantasy universe filled with elves, dragons, and busty goth girlfriends. In fact, our story begins on day one of the 2050 season of Cosmos Conflict. I'm sorry, (laughs) the 2050 season of Cosmos of Conflict. The perfect time for players to begin or start fresh. All of you today 
are either brand new or have created new characters for the season, hoping to unlock new and interesting secrets to the game or just simply to challenge yourselves. And at this moment, you each find yourselves at the character creation screens. And there are just so many sliders, right? There's hair, skin, tattoos, tall queen settings, short king settings, thick or thin, and even an endowment setting. Are you guys catching my drift? And uh, yeah, yeah, I think I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Had to be catching things. <laughs> So we're going to go through and describe our characters here. I want you guys to tell me uh, your character uh, name. Let, let me let me let me clarify this here. I want you to name your uh, to tell your player name, your character in Cosmos of Conflicts name. Describe what the character looks like, and I also want you guys to let me know what do you set the endowment setting to. And Mendachi, I'm going to start with you. Of course. All right. So, uh, my name's Mendachi. Uh, I'll be playing the player named JB. And uh, I will have JB playing the wood elf monk known as Handwin Il Mul Young. Uh, Handwin for short, but he will probably just go ahead and introduce himself as JB because using in game handles is kind of weird. Either way, Handwin has a uh, kind of asymmetrical kind of cut, long on one side, dirty surfer blonde. Uh, he's exceptionally toned, barrel chested, uh, a definite himbo for sure. And across most of his body, you'll see these kind of like aqua uh, tattoos kind of striping most of his chest, his arms, his feet, all the way across his back. Um, otherwise, like, Pretty pretty intense jawline, pretty intense uh, guns, you know? Uh, and he's thick. He's thick. He's not like... He's not like your uh, typical, like, gym bro. Like, this man looks like he probably eats a lot, but he burns a lot. Uh, yeah, he's, he's just, uh, for lack of a better word, a brick shit house that uh, uses machine gun punches and kicks to settle a lot of issues. Okay, and then uh, the endowment slider. The endowment slider is set to humble. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's what you do with it, right? Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, you know, sometimes it's uh, not about how hard you hit, but how many times you can. <laughs> hey, yo. The nice. flurry, yo. if you will. Zombie. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Tell me about your character. Um, so my character, his name is uh, Glenn. Um, now, Glenn is, is your typical dude, bro. Um, he... Uh, uh, does not really hit the weights, but he's pretty, you know, fit just in general, right? So he's just kind of out there. Um, he tends to have a little bit of anger management issues, um, <laughs> but who doesn't nowadays, right? Um, and uh, yeah, uh, he's pretty tall. I think he was like six something. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I've never done this before, people. So, you know, I'm <laughs> learning. I do be learning. You're doing amazing. Sweetie. That's true. I, Actually, uh... I did it. Most people here in this in this group uh, have experience with role playing games. Zombie is a virgin to role playing <gasps> games. I've never been a virgin before in my life. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Anyways, continue, Zombie. Um. Uh, tell us about tell us about the player or the uh, the character okay. the character the character. Mm -hmm. Um. So the character that I wait the character of the play, I'm I'm so confused. the uh, the in game character in game character. Oh. thank you yes thank yes you for the, uh, correction green. So uh, the in-game character is Rex, who is a uh, goblin barbarian. Um, he uh, he do be a short king. Um, that do be the thing. Uh, and then also, uh, he likes to swing around a really big fucking anything that he can put his hands on. Typically hammers, you know? Okay. Yeah. And how about the uh, endowment slider? Um, he lets his dick swing, dude. He's in. He's, he's 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 got it you know what i mean like he's probably the biggest 
like the the biggest uh goblin you've ever seen in your life in in terms of there you know okay so he he has slid it all the oh, way to the side yeah all the way okay all the way of course he lets his nuts hang dude i don't, I don't know what to tell you it's just he'd be tripping he'd be tripping <laughs> Indy Falco. So very much a uh, golden retriever uh, kind of mentality. Pretty kind, very inquisitive, lost very easily. Uh, as far as the streamer character, very... Um... Should I say the name or should I not say the name? I don't know, based on my backstory. I will just say the name. N I don't think anybody knows it, but his streamer name is Thundergun Jones, and the character name, the in-game character, is uh, Olivar. Uh, and he's this lovely little Warforge. Uh, that is just trucking along, just doing his thing, um, in, in this MMO world. Uh, he loves to blacksmith. He loves to create things. Like I said, very inquisitive, gets lost often, unfortunately. Uh, pretty rusty around the edges, so it seems like he's been some places, has a pirate hat on and a old, uh, rusty lantern. Um, yeah, I think that kind of sums him up, sure. And then for the endowment, 69 out of 100. Yeah. Mm. Splendid. Okay. okay. Yeah. Quasar. Tell us about your uh, character. Oh, boy. Um, so, Iroh, um, her name's Nala. She's uh, pretty tall, got really, like, I don't know, pretty curly, but not like, oh, my God, kind of a fro going on. Um, she's like a very olived, almost like burnt caramel color of skin. Uh, let's see. She's very like slim thick. She's giving queen. She's giving, she's giving us everything and leaving nothing to imagination. She wears like really cute, like short crop tops and like baggy, baggier pants, like cargos, camos, has her combat boots, her Doc Martens always. Um, and she's she's a go-getter. Um, she had a tough life, but um, she's made her way by uh, cybersecurity gigs and hacking gigs and the like. And now kind of runs the internet for her apartment building, and that's how she gets her free rent. So, <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> now, I just want to make sure that your character does identify as a she, her correct she sure does okay she sure does uh so endowment here i guess would be you know um uh chest and rump uh so <laughs> uh what, sure. what would your endowment slider be at oh well in game yeah in -game i would for the character that you built yep <laughs> uh in game as a leonin tall black panther s i would say her endowment is at definitely like bad bitch like i think it's at that level where it's like oh like she walks past and you double take she's at double take level for sure okay oh. so like 75 out of 100 maybe absolutely yes okay. oh and her end game name is uh wind windahi wadamu or damu for short okay it means blood hunter and zulu greenly hook spear moments oh. yeah let's yeah. let's talk yeah. about your character yeah my character's name is arthur um, he is kind of a recluse. He uh, doesn't like going out. He doesn't like seeing people. He uh, likes to work on computers, play on computers, and just uh, a vibe throughout the day. Um, and he made a character in this game at the new season launch. Um, he is not very picky um, in terms of character selection. Um, most of it is all like standard character selection, like the, the stock platform, right? Uh, maybe a few changes to the hair, uh, you know, maybe make the face a little bit longer. Just just a vibe, you know. Um, he usually makes sure that his uh, his um, items that he, he picks to, to wear and stuff um, really appeal to, like, more of, like, his roommate uh, than himself. He, he's really very, um, not necessarily negative. He's more of a neutral. He doesn't really you know, care either way. So... Yeah, um, with the endowment slider, I would say he left it at stock. Okay, so like 50 out of 50? Yeah, 50-50. 50-50? Okay. Zombie, indie, and Q. Okay. I want you to make a note real quick. Sure. Uh, at any point during the campaign, you are going to 
going to be able to roll advantage on charisma rolls once. Uh, that is your big dick bonus. Uh, so enjoy that. <laughs> big dick bonus. Yes. You get advantage Perfect. on one charisma roll for the entire game. Unless, you know, obviously otherwise stated. You guys can use that at, at any point. That is your big dick bonus. BDB. BDB. Okay. Are you, are you guys uh, ready to to kind of get into the tutorial here? Oh, absolutely. So, I've been ready for so I long. <laughs> I do have to yeah. say, I was the only one that didn't get the big dick bonus there. Because I just chose 50-50. Nope. Mandachi didn't either. Oh, I chose right, humble my right. homie. He did. He did pick humble. That's humble right, kings. Yeah. Humble, humble kings. kings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after character creation, you are instantly transported to the island of Low Tide, the tutorial island that each and every player and new character starts out on. And as a point of clarification for you all, you are all on the island in the same instance and are free to speak to each other. You just aren't specifically in a group unless you decide to form one during the tutorial. The island is fairly small and everyone starts uh, at the docks of this island where there is a small cottage and an NPC named Learning Lyle. Learning Lyle is a simply dressed NPC with a red tunic and brown uh, pants. He is a human character with dark toned skin and curly black hair cut down to the scalp. What do you guys want to do uh, right away after you get out of the character creation uh, screen? Oh, I'm definitely checking my inventory. What are my starting gears? That's what I want to know. Uh, let's see. So basically anything that you guys would have created, actually at the moment, at the moment you notice that you don't have any gear. <sighs> what a letdown. After getting to level cap in the previous game, uh, having to start fresh, this sucks. Um, okay, so real quick, I want you to roll a history check. 13, my good sir. Okay. So you know it's really common for you to not have your starting gear uh, in your inventory right away. In fact, you know that the way to start that is by talking with Learning Lyle. Lionel. <sighs> <laughs> I'm going to drag my feet as I really just want to start punching stuff, and I'm just going to walk up to Lionel. Okay. How about uh, the rest of you? Um, I definitely stick back, kind of eye out everybody, kind of see what's going on, who's here, the crowd, if I can see, if I can see people. Can I see other people? Yeah, you, you, guys, you can see everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely eyeing out people just seeing like who's who what's what definitely passively like listening yeah making if, my way towards lyle if you need a cultural touch point for the kind of situation you're in sure this is the runescape tutorial island <laughs> okay mm. mm -hmm. yeah are we are we are we kind of imagining the situation we're in right now yeah sadly <laughs> yeah, absolutely <laughs> unfortunately um, yes. I'm going to be standing in the, like, uh, uh, over towards the right, like, almost towards the corner of the room, kind of waiting for everyone to, like, move along, essentially. Um, just because, like, it, it seems a little crowded right at that starting launch point, so I'm just uh, shuffling over to the side. Okay. Zombie, what are you doing? Um, I think I'm... I'm... So I'm going to, like, start walking towards the, the dude because I'm a little impatient. So, uh, and, and just, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not moving out of anyone's way. I'm beelining there. So if anyone's in my way, I'm going to, I'm probably going to hit him. So. Okay. How about you, Indy? Uh, does my character see JB? Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'll start, uh, I'll just, like wave very stiff like and then just you know start hustling over to jb and uh lyle okay what do you when you approach jb what do you say do you say anything uh yeah sure hold on jb hello it looks like we the same instance uh hearing this uh very familiar robotic tone uh Almost jumping out of my skin, but I think at this point, like, I'm just so bored uh, having to go through this tutorial that it still kind of shocks me. And I turn around and I see Olivar 
and immediately uh, just perk up. Uh, and even though he probably hates this, I'm going to wrap my arms around this guy and I'm going to pick him up, bear hug him and swing him around, uh, probably almost kicking Rex in the head if he's still down there right next to me at Lionel and then maybe even like clipping against Lionel. Uh, and then and then setting him back down and then just trying not to cry because I thought I was going to have such a boring time right off the bat. <laughs> I got a question. Can he pick up 600 pounds and swing it around? <laughs> Boy, I'm going to try. <laughs> yeah, do it! <laughs> but yeah, as he does that, I'm just going to... Wow, that was fun. Do it again, JB. I couldn't feel it, but it seemed okay. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good to see a friend uh, in all of this long, boring, empty, green pasture. <sighs> uh. Do you guys say anything else? I'm good. Like, I'm ready to... I want to okay. just, I'll, yeah. yeah, I want to, I want to skip through all the dialogue. I'm just going to be sitting there mashing <laughs> and then <laughs> probably like, oh, going like, through it three times. And then finally just like, okay, okay, I'll breathe and then I'll get through it. And uh, just, just, just give me, give, give me, give me my shit. <laughs> I'm learning Lyle. I'm here to, I'm here to learn along with you. Head into the cottage and get your supplies. And, uh. uh what do you do? I'm gonna look around. Thank you, Lyle. <laughs> you really always have to talk to them like they're people. Like, even now, like, I thought maybe, you know, turning a new leaf, starting somewhere new, Oliver, maybe you get over that. I do not know what you mean. They are people. Right. They're people. And I look behind, I look at the players, I see the names. This seems like a pretty decent for season starter, don't you think? Like, that's a lot of folks that showed up. Perhaps so. I don't know about that small one over there, though. I'm gonna look down. Uh, <laughs> feisty. Ankle biter, for sure. I think that maybe, maybe we should watch out for that one. It's got energy. I like that. What, uh, yes. what did, what did you sure what did you call me? What what did you call me? Uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> ankle biter. What? <laughs> Say it to my face. Get on uh, my level. Get down here. Sure. Yeah. And I'll kneel down. I will get almost probably nose to nose. Ankle biter. And I'm just gonna flash you a big toothy smile. I, I, I will kill you right here and now. I swear to God. I will send you back to the main lobby. I swear to God, right now. You you don't understand who you're messing with, man. I don't... I You you, you, you don't get it. Don't get head it. Pat, Excuse me. Head pass. Head pass. Head pass. Please do not do that. I, I, I will... Jamie I will, is my friend. I will, I will hurt both of you. I'll hurt you because of your friend. I'll do it. So, so after... After this exchange, you guys hear... I'm learning Lyle. I'm here to learn along with you. Head into the cottage and get your supplies. Lyle, shut up. Shut, shut up. Shut up, uh, Lyle. Oh, hey, are, are you are you guys heading over to the, the cottage? You guys over who, here? Who are you? Oh, hello. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I'm at, my name is Echo. Um, and we Echo. I think we need to get our gear at the cottage. Uh, just don't get me wrong. Kind of. What kind of fucking but Lionel's, name is Lionel's, Lionel's kind of name said, is Echo. It don't. It, all right, never mind. I'm just gonna go back off. Echo. So Echo. you, you know, know people are gonna do that to your name, right? I mean, oh, it's geez. it's a fine handle, uh, but it doesn't. I mean, it's not really a name, right? It's more of like and a I, thing. I just keep scooching back to the. Well, it, like, it's not even intimidating. Like, why would why would you pick that name? Like, it's not even intimidating. Echo. At this point, I can't hear them. I'm just <laughs> shuffled over, so, like started to rummage towards the cottage. So, oh uh, Q, yeah, what is I'm knowledge? Just watching like all this this? Un- I'm just watching all this unfold. <laughs> I am just, <laughs> just lapping up the sap that is these people just already arguing in Tutorial Island. 
And I think Nala, as um, Green's character, Echo moves back. Um, Damu would just kind of, kind of give him the side eye and just kind of feel kind of bad for a little bit. And she'd be like, do you just hear as she moves by Green? I don't even think you see her because she's that pretty sneaky. She's just like, I like your name. And she just keeps going towards uh, the like I'm, I'm I make eye contact with her and I I just immediately look down and like, thanks thank you <laughs> she just kind of nods you. and keeps on going <laughs> just one track towards her mission which is talking to Lyle and getting her gear yes so after a few moments all of you have talked to Lionel you have gone into the cottage and you have. Collected your gear. So whatever gear you guys, I, I, I got a question. Yes. Uh, can can I can I like see if there's like spare gear? Uh, oh. the game is only programmed to give you the gear that you start with as your character. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yes. Any other questions? I got a staff. <laughs> that's a statement that is that's a, that's a big I staff. Have a staff that's a big staff infection <laughs> so thank, thank after you. you all have collected your gear gear uh you walk up to Ly- lionel again and uh the text box literally just goes dot 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 and lionel then takes off in a dead ass sprint <laughs> Just into the woods. Where, what, where, where the fuck are you going? Where are you going? Hey. No, I'll just sprint. So, uh, real quick, for uh, I, because I don't remember exactly which of the characters have and have not played this game again. Um, who, whose characters are brand new to the game, and whose uh, characters, uh, or who, who has like played the game before? So, zombie, you're brand new. Yes. I'm I'm brand new as well. Okay. Veteran player. Okay. Uh, I think I've been around. Yes. Because you've already passed a history check. You know that this is normal. And you go and you go to run and follow him. All right. Uh, I'm going to notice that the uh, that the ankle biter is slower than the rest of the party. So uh, I am going to unceremoniously pick him up, tuck him under my arm like he's a football, and uh, he's probably just probably swinging on me with that hammer. I don't know, uh, but we're running into the forest. I will follow. <laughs> Nala's already just, in. I, definitely. I'm just right like, on his tail. I, I, I just sit there and... <sighs> okay. And then I just go after. So... <laughs> I'm in, I'm in yep. shock. Everyone go on ahead and do an athletics check. Oh, okay. oh, absolutely. DC Wait, I got to do an athletics check when I'm being carried? Uh, actually, that's a great question. You don't, Fuck. but uh, <laughs> but JB has to make an athletics check at disadvantage. Oh, no. Uh, it's just a roll d20, right? Yep, roll d20 and then add your athletics. I did so bad. We're doing real good. <laughs> we're doing so good oh, I, no, did, I, did, I did good and then oh, you know, yeah. he only yeah, weighs good. like 35 pounds ah, you're still carrying him in his gear it might sure. be virtual but you know it has some sort of uh, system there he might he might be wiggling around oh I'm definitely wiggling around oh I, I got a, a dirty 20 see. got a dirty 20 okay mm, a tainted 20 freaking nine so echo keeps up just fine and uh let me double check here uh unfortunately the rest of you kind of fall behind but as you're running through the woods you can see learning lionel up ahead absolutely he's just booking it right he just his arms are flailing he is going through. He has not a care in the world. And as you guys are following him, <laughs> exactly. 
And it's like, as... it's like that scene from Hunter Hunter where they're chasing uh, after the dude. Yeah. I'm, exactly thinking, I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I'm Mustache thinking. Get man. out. Get out. Where he's like, oh Here. yeah, get out. Oh, that's a good one too. I would, yeah, I would Same. say the get out run is <laughs> more accurate. All right, he is just absolutely booking it. And you guys see up ahead there is a creek, and he takes a leap in like a majestic fucking eagle taking to the sky. Lionel jumps and lands on his feet on the other side. Can I wrestle free at this point from from uh, from JB? I'm not even gonna fight it. I'm gonna like we're here. Mm -hmm. That's that's all that mattered. Uh, I didn't want him to fall behind because he's got little feet. Mm -hmm. I was I was thinking <laughs> of him. I swear that's that's why I picked him up. It's not like I was thinking little of him. I, so I'm just I, gonna go ahead and sit down. Yeah, I. <laughs> I'm so in shock right now, full of rage, that I just, I don't, I don't know what to do with you. I don't know if I should bear you up to your head or if I should just kneecap you right here. I don't, I don't know. You and my, my, my cousin just are annoying the crap out of me at this point. And I've not, I haven't even found that guy yet, but you, you, I'm watching you. Okay. Is this where you're about to ask me to throw you across the ravine, little guy? what it sounds like can i intimidation check him <laughs> um <laughs> at disadvantage sure <laughs> uh all right so how do i do this so go on ahead and uh oh <laughs> the beautiful <laughs> hell yeah dude okay super hey, scared he could not one he's at disadvantage Good. wait yeah, you're at disadvantage <laughs> gotta roll again i gotta roll again mm-hmm So, How do I do this? Just there we go. Oh, okay. Well, so seven. Yep. Shit. Seven By the way, is. when you guys, uh, if you guys could do me a favor and when you roll, uh, announce your rolls mm -hmm. to the stream, that would be fantastic. Oh, yes. Thank you. Um, so you rolled a seven, and uh, yeah, no, he he is not. Uh, actually, I'll let I'll let uh, JB speak for himself here. Is JB intimidated? I think uh, at this point, I, I have my eyes closed. I am smiling at him, just like big toothy grin, ear to ear, uh, restraining myself from trying to just like pat his head or even just like give him a couple pets, mm -hmm. you know, muss up his hair. Uh, I'm going to turn back. Hey, Olivar, uh, do you have anything that we could just like yeet our new friend across the ravine? I don't want him to fall behind with his small legs. Friend? Friend, uh, I don't even yes, know you. Probably not. I don't even know you. I'm not your friend. Hot potato. So I'm just uh, gonna pick him up and throw I'll him. I'll try to pick him up. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll well, try to pick him up and throw him across. So, uh, you notice as you try to pick him up and throw him across, mm -hmm. Ooh. he, <clears throat> excuse me, there, he immediately falls in the water and then respawns on the other side, and uh, <laughs> with with no no damage done, no damage done. Oh. You notice that there are stones in the water crossing the creek. Oh, it's oh. Uh, it's trying to calibrate our acrobatic ability, I think. Uh, <laughs> best of luck, Olivar. And I'm going to hop across. Okay, go on ahead and roll a d20. Do a, Just a normal d20 or a roll? Uh, yeah, do a roll for um, acrobatics. DC 5. Cool. Can I follow Natural 20, me? 24 oh. total. Oh, yeah. Monk shit, oh, yes. boy. Yes. Can I follow behind and do the same? Just kind of knowing already what this is and how to cross it. Just yes. from previous knowledge. Okay. What are we rolling again? Acrobatics. Uh, or yeah, oh, acrobatics. Yes. DC five. Robotics. Oh yes. Nah. Oh, okay. That is a sixteen. Hell yeah! You make it. Let's go oh, yeah. to oh, uh, zombie. Check your. Uh, I am going to try and chase after. Uh, JB, who I still don't even know his name yet because he hasn't introduced himself yet, but he keeps calling me his friend, and I'm very upset, so I'm going to chase after him. Hey, you! No, you! Get back here! I'm not done with you! 
I'm not done with you. And, Just to uh, clarify, we have nameplates above our heads, right? Yeah, you guys yeah. can see each other's character, like the like your in-game names. Oh but god, I, I'm so new. I don't it, like. I'm switching from a different game, so I don't even I don't even notice at this point. So, but uh, I, I'm chasing after him. So, uh, do I do an acro acrobats check too? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Not rolling very well. <laughs> You gotta learn Three. to dance, little guy. It, he, it's a ten out of five, yeah. right? I got a yep. ten. Yep. A yeah, five to pass. Yep, you got oh, it. I made it across. Okay. Nice. Green. I, I, I'm gonna sh like shuffle to the rock because I see everyone else running, and I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now uh, to uh, Mr. Robot Man here. Please go ahead. Did it not roll? Uh, I don't see anything. I don't yet. see nothing. I don't see nothing. With the yeah. little uh, thing 15. Right. 15 plus 2, 17. You make it across. Yeah. And I think that leaves one other character on the, uh, on the side, right? That would be... Mr. Indy Falco. Yeah, all of ours. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll do this. Uh, it's probably gonna be really bad. <laughs> uh, could be worse, I guess, right? You did it. <laughs> but it is. I rolled an eight. It is successful. You made it. Yes! It is successful, yeah. and all of you make your way across the creek. Something's not right. There should be people here. Can you look around and see if there are any clues? No. I'm I'm terrible at this. This is more your bag, Oliver. Uh, yes, we can do that right away. Clues? What are what are we clues? Let's go clues look for at what? stuff. Clues for what? <laughs> what are we looking? For? What what kind of clues no, are we looking for? I'll start I'll start checking around for people or like maybe there was a struggle something like that. Mm. What? Dom was already over like kind of searching, looking through. Yeah, maybe like one of the tents. So I'm gonna have all of you guys roll an investigation check, DC five. Oh boy! <laughs> Again, it's it's a real tutorial here. Nothing is very difficult. Oh, I get advantage. Uh, what was it? <laughs> investigation. I a 10. Investigation. Yep. Hold on, I get advantage. I got a fourteen. Yeah. And uh, I nailed it with a uh, with a six. Oh, <laughs> super close. <laughs> That's a natural 20 for oh, 25. Nice. Hog. So all I also, oh, I'm sorry. I got a, a, a dirty 20. Dirty 20. His, his dice are loaded. I, I need somebody to like check his shit and uh, he's uh, hacking, cheating, I something. Mean... <laughs> Autoscoper. Autoscoper. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> this dude. Full fudger. This dude. Tur 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 turn, your, turn your hacks off. Come on. Since all of you passed, none of you are surprised by this. You find five giant rats that make their way from the crates and tents and barrels, and it is time to roll initiative for our first combat of the campaign. And uh, real quick, before we get into the combat... I want uh, JB to roll a history check. Blended. As I look over at the little guy, it looks like you drew the short stick. Damn. Wow. You just wow. gonna let him talk that kind of shit? Wow. wow. <laughs> I got an A in my history. Okay. <laughs> so you know. I remember. <laughs> JB, you know that if Lionel survives this encounter, you all will get extra gold at the end of the tutorial. Oh, snap. What do you do with this information? Uh, I'm going to shout very quickly at the beginning of this combat. Hey, protect the tutorial guy. He's boring and annoying, but just prote protect him. More money. Just let's go. Number one priority. As a team. We're a team now. We're all friends. Oh, we're friends. 
friends. All right. I'm ready to do more. this. What are what it, friends? I could just do this on my own. I could solo all these guys. Uh, what are you talking about, friends? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> head <laughs> pat, head <laughs> pat, head <laughs> pat. You're distracting us from the real stuff. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start with rat number one, who is just going to, uh, for his first action, whoops, let me verify the speed of the stat block. Oh, nar. Oh, nar, the start mark. <laughs> Will run up to Lionel. Oh, oh, I right see. Away, huh? mm -hmm. I That's see how that. <laughs> I see. <laughs> how so much health someone... does Lionel have? Oh, probably not a lot. Uh, can someone who who has played a lot of Fifth Edition and not a lot of Pathfinder, mm -hmm. um, how do you guys do diagonals in Five uh, E? Ten, I think. Yep. Count. Okay. The after the second after the first one, right? First diagonal is five feet, and then it's just ten for every diagonal after that. I, think I so. believe. Okay, I think same as Pathfinder then. Yeah, thankfully roll twenty will do it uh, for us. It'll calculate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, computer. Um. Hey. Computer. <laughs> so he <laughs> the the first rat, giant rat, right? So I'm talking like a a rat that's the size of a. Like, as a zombie, <laughs> as, as I tall as a zombie, a Doberman Pinscher. I say like <laughs> a Yorkie or um. Oh, okay. okay. More um, like, actually, I'm sorry, an English Bulldog. Oh, a miniature Doberman Pinscher. You guys gotcha. are all concerned about these things hurting the guy. Like they're, they're tiny. Like you could you could just pot shot them off. It's fine. So the the first giant rat runs up to Lionel. It is hissing and snarling. And it's like gnashing its teeth, and as it gets up to him, it opens up it opens up its mouth and takes a bite out of his leg. He takes four damage. Oh my God, oh no! Well, he's already half dead, so uh, well, shot it's... up, fellas. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> so, so what you're telling me is, uh, uh, because of our initiatives here, there's absolutely no chance. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, Maybe. you guys have three turns after the second rat goes and Come tries on, to target. Lionel, can he in fact make it? Actually, he has to use his entire action just to get up to him. Hey yo. Hey yo. All right, that brings us to Olivar. Let's go. Hey, oh, service. I will protect you. Uh, and he moves up. Um, I love it. He'll move actually <laughs> right here. Oh, hold on. I got the wrong thing he selected. I'll actually, move right here in front of the rats. Uh, pincher? pincher maneuver? And, and just take could his they, tower shield out and just lift get, his fist up. Uh -huh. Would they get an uh, uh, opportunity for attack since you're passing them? No. No. Huh? He's moving. No, it's only if you're, you're zone. leaving. He's moving their... in first. Yeah. He's not gotcha. leaving it. Gotcha. Dance it around. Past. Uh, yeah, I'll punch that even. rat that just moved uh, in front of our friend Lionel with my fist. Okay. Hell. And I rolled a tainted 20 and 11 damage. 11 damage. Shit. Is that max? Almost. Uh. 11 damage on rat number two. Uh, that one that I just pinged right in front of Lionel okay. or between us. So, yeah, you run up and you... In, can you describe the war plate gauntlet real quick? Oh, yeah, sure. So, I mean, he's... Dolivar is made of mostly metal, rusted, very rusted metal. But uh, on his right hand is this gauntlet that's just... Kind of big. Think like not quite like Hellboy level of of fist on the right hand. Not that much, but it is definitely, definitely not symmetrical uh, to his other arm. Uh, but essentially, this is a very mechanical looking gauntlet. It looks like it has uh, 
like some very thick windows in it that could possibly, you know, elude to maybe it lights up here or something. Um, and it Is looks like it has heavy? some moving parts, but it hasn't really done anything. It's just a heavy gauntlet on his hand that he punched the shit out of that rat with. Ooh, it's got some weight, me, Daddy. It will. <laughs> Vector gadget pog. Who? Oh, it's dead. Oh shit! <laughs> Murder. It is. Yeah. So you you walk up to this or you run up to this thing, and you just eviscerate it. You see the numbers on it. You hit like eleven. You see the numbers on it, and it dissolves and digitizes, and is no longer on the field. Do do do. And I'll just kind of turn around and face the other rats and just, like, clack my shield on the ground a couple times. My tower shield. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. That takes us to... That was hot. Mendachi in the oh, why, hello initiative there. order. I will go ahead and... See here. Select move. There we are. I will do uh, the five of the feet step for the free of the action. And I will go ahead and take a swing with my quarterstaff at said ratty rat. I'm selecting. I think I'm selected. And kaplow. That's a 20 to hit. I'm, ass I'm assuming that hits the rat. That hits. Okay. No that does now I'm going to do the damage. Roll do the damage. damage. It would be him. so scary if that missed. <laughs> that would be very intimidating. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, disregard Rat? the second. I forgot that I have to. D and D Beyond doesn't like this. I actually had to remake the weapon two different times because it's a versatile weapon and it messes with uh, um, roll twenty. So just look at one hand damage. I did eight with that swing. Okay. Okay. Is it alive? It is not. You see the number. Okay. Appear, you see eight appear, flash on rat number one, and it disappears, digitizes, hissing and 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 sputtering, uh, as it uh, as it uh, falls in battle. Hell yeah, yeah! Just a, a real quick oh, step, yeah. and then just the slightest wrist movement as this quarter step just smacks the rat the side of the head, and it just kind of, and I just look at all of our, and I give a. Gentle wave, smile, and then focusing back towards the other rats as I bring that quarterstaff over the head, sliding my hand forward. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah. Oliver nods back. In the initiative order, then that brings us to Echo or Green Elite. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to look at the, uh, the group of three there, and I'm going to uh, use my cantrip uh, Sacred Flame. Okay. It's a 60 foot reach. So uh, I'm going to attack the one that's uh, essentially the closest to us, the 40 feet one. Okay. That uh, requires me to make a dexterity save? Uh, yes, a dex uh, save of. Th uh, you have to beat 13. Okay. I don't know how you guys did that, but okay. <laughs> 19. Magic. Oh, well, I don't well, I do like 3 magic. damage to you. Damn. Son of so, gun. So uh, you don't do any damage then? I don't do any damage, no. Okay. I don't believe, I don't believe so. I think it's I, I have to... If you pass the deck save, you... Okay. In the initiative order, then, that's going to bring us to rat number three who is, again, just beelining it to Lionel. Rat 3! <laughs> rat I, missed, rat three stand. I missed that rat, guys. You guys really need to try to smash it. But uh, <laughs> because it only has uh, 30 speed, that is its entire turn. Rat 3! <laughs> you gonna you gonna end your, spa your, end your turn in a threatened area without uh, entering combat? Wait, can I? It is uh, I don't think I don't have it set up to where bite, where the attack is a bonus action. Um, no, I'm just uh, asking that as a question, as in, uh, you want to end in the combat zone, 
uh, with your full movement and provoke attacks of opportunity? Sure. Okay. I'm going to use a Great. reaction to do a smacky smack. Okay. Hit him. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Natty one, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Is that, I, wait, is that a crit That is a nat one. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> JB, you go to smack the rat as it enters into your, uh, into your zone of influence there. Yes, and... my threatened area. Mm -hmm. You misstep, and after missing that attack, uh, it will take you a moment to <laughs> regain your footing for another attack, and you'll have to do it at disadvantage. Oh, next turn. Okay. So uh -oh. next next attack roll you make will be at disadvantage. We doing them punishing natty ones. Yeah. Oof. Big oof. Punish. Punish. <laughs> Foolish mod. Next in the initiative <laughs> order would be rat number four. Rat four. Four boys. Wait, you skipped me? No, you skipped Q. Oh, you did skipped I skip Q. Q? Q, I'm sorry. Yeah. Nala, um, what are you doing? Get a girl. Nala, like, just has, like, this, with her, you know, feline face, has, like, this grin, like, her kind of two, or... Tooths? Her Tooth. teeth are kind of bared, and she kind of like looks ready for battle, almost like growling, but the like teefers. not really. The Tifers. And she's gonna move uh, to that rat if she can. Okay. Uh, like right in front of Mendachi JB. I don't know how. How does one. Can uh, I do select that? and move. I can move it for you. There you go. Thank you. Love <laughs> and move? What? Sorry, there's multiple tools uh, in the uh, in Roll20. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. right. I'm. Yeah, I did the wrong thing. Anyways, uh, when she gets up there, um, she's going to kind of smile at the rat and say, uh, kind of under her breath, like, now this is what I've been waiting for. And she's going to do her daunting roar. And um, that's as a bonus action, once for short rest. Creatures of your choice within 10 feet that hear you must succeed in a wisdom saving throw or become frightened until the end of your next turn. <laughs> okay. So she's going to like do like a little like awesome. roar in his face. Rawr. Rawr. Okay, so I need to do a, you said wisdom? Yeah, wisdom. DC's 12. All right. Rawr. 15. Fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, you use your ability of Daunting Roar and, and uh, attempt to scare the giant rat away, but it looks at you <laughs> and hisses. Oh. Hisses Are we too back. early? Yeah. He, <laughs> he's, like, he's like, you know, he's like reared back, ready to like pounce. And then, like okay. you, like you come up and like roar at him, and he like staggers a bit, and he looks at you and like hisses, and then like he's getting back to doing what he was gonna do. Uh, well, he still, I still have an action to kick his butt if sure. I can. I would like to kick his butt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's gonna be like, "Well, shit, I forgot." We're God, I forgot the ability doesn't work before level five. Shit. And then she just um. She's like, whatever, fine. And she just, like, slashes out with her... Like, she, like... I don't know what it's called. And she puts out her claws and she just slashes Bing. at him. Okay. Shing. Perfect. Shing, shing. Um, that Good old going fashion to snake. Be... Snake. Come on, then. Please. <laughs> Pleak. <laughs> Please. Pleak. Uh, that's a 13 to hit. Okay, that's a hit. Yeah. Um, so they Idiot. take... Idiot. 1d4 plus 2 slashing. That's smashing. That's 5 damage. 
as she <laughs> kind of like mock. goes into its little hide. Kind yeah. of aims for the eyes a little bit. Yeah, so you like lunge, your character lunges forward with claws out, it slashes the giant rat across its belly, and you see five pop up in like the little red damage buttons. And the, as you do, like the giant rat like digitizes and like disappears into the digital ether. Oh, he did. She uses her claws and like takes out her, um, her chicken sword, if you will, her a uh, spear yeah, with yeah, the hook, yeah, yeah, yeah. hook spear, and she's like, she kind of like battle stance readies and like kind of like angles it down and points at the other ones. Yeah, and her her tattoos as the blood from the rat kind of splashes, I guess, or digitizes, and it kind of mm-hmm. goes towards her. Her like tattoo that are now visible to probably Mendachi and Indy. You see them kind of flare up and like glow like a little red iridescent. Making notes, making notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next in the initiative order now is Giant Rat Four. And five, yes. <laughs> four and five. I've been casted as Giant Rat Five. <laughs> <laughs> how did you? How did you know? So it is <laughs> big break. My big break. So it is Giant Rat Number Four is going to like skirt around Olivar and try to get itself into position to. I think that's right. Yeah, that's close enough. It's going to be trying to position itself to wow. attack. Lionel. Next, giant rat number five is going to use uh, most of its speed and try to get itself into position. That brings us into the initiative over initiative order. It's Rex. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Let's go. All right. So uh, I want to attack number five um okay. just because he's in my immediate site so that that's who i'm going for so how, how do i get to him let's go okay so first like ha- oh yep so know. first you have uh your movement action okay uh what is your speed uh uh 30 feet okay so rat number five from your position is 25 feet away so you can make that all right, so I go like there, right? Yep. All right, so then uh, let's see. I so rage is a bonus action, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yes. I see. So I want to go into a barbarian rage. Okay. Uh, and then uh, so. Do I add? I add two to or oh, attack roll there. I think yeah, Does that work. Oh. Yep, I see the I see it there now. Uh, rage, I gotta remember exactly. Uh, rage, uh, you get to make two attack rolls. Is that what I'm remembering? Or are you You're attacking thinking of a uh, reckless attack? Reckless attack. Okay. It just it just gives a plus two to yeah. Damage I just got a plus two to advantage on yeah. okay. on strength uh, checks. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay, so you rolled a seven, which does not hit. Oh, wait. What's your strength modifier? That doesn't look right. That, yeah, that does not His look right. His mod should be a four, so in order to get a seven, you would have had to roll a one. Uh, so I did roll a one. So you should actually have... There that's you. actually an 11 to hit, then. So wait, did you... If he ro- he rolled, rolled a one. one. Did he? It shows, I think so. it I think shows so, he rolled a five then... for me. Oh yeah, it, it does show five. Yeah, because it's doing a plus two. Uh, like if you hover over the seven. Yeah, yeah it's it yeah, numbers. it's missing the other four, like Indy just said. Yeah, from the okay, strength, exactly. it should be an eleven. It should be an eleven. Uh, okay. Okay. Got it. That makes a lot of sense now. Uh, eleven is still a miss. So wow. Yeah, you raise your you raise your hammer above your little head, and you're ready to just smack the shit out of this rat, right? And as you bring the hammer down, it successfully dodges. 
Wow. <laughs> Can't wow. even catch a rat. Wow. Fucking JB. <laughs> don't 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 you patronize me, Goldilocks. I'm gonna I'll... look around the the tall queen oh. and say, "I'll be over there to help you in a minute, buddy." Just, I, just hold on. I will murder you if you come anywhere close to me. I swear to God. Just be patient. <laughs> I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> in the initiative order, that brings us to Indy or uh, Olivar. Oh, and me. Um, let's see. Olivar will um, see that the other rat is occupied and, and head for the other one to his left that tried to uh, skirt around him to get to Lionel. Uh, lift his tower shield and go up and just <gasps> and just punch him. Falcon punch him. If you would. Yeah. Falcon punch! He doesn't miss. Oh, okay. Uh, 14 to hit. Alright, and uh, damage 6 it looks like? Six damage. Okay, so yeah, you you roll up on him, and uh, the the game has such great sound effects. You can actually kind of hear like the 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 real heavy clunk, 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 clunk of like jangly metal and stuff. Nice. And you absolutely wallop this thing. You see the you see the six damage appear on the screen, and rat number four just shatters into like digital fragments and uh, disappears into the ether beautiful um, and, I'll, and i'll use the rest of my movement to move towards the person the small person that's struggling at the moment i am not struggling we love helping I, new players i am Don't not struggling get away from me get away from me don't <laughs> worry you have my back i i <laughs> Uh, in the initiative <laughs> order, that brings us to JB. Uh, I am going to use my just like ample amount of, of movement here to uh, again just go ahead and um, I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, extra about it. Let's see here five, and then we're going to say 10, 15, 20, 25 feet of movement here mm -hmm. to uh, flank with my homie. And yeah. uh, I'm yeah, supposed same. to have I'm supposed to have disadvantage, but uh, flanking gives me advantage, so I'm gonna roll straight. If that's okay with you, DM. I uh, that is fine with me. Okay. Yeah, stay, stay over there, Blondie. Get away from me. Stay away from me. Don't okay, you like... dare touch him. Touch my rat. That's my rat. <laughs> I'm just uh, looking at him. I'm gonna smile, and I'm just gonna thunk this rat in the back of the head. Okay. I hope you miss. With a 17 to hit. <laughs> and, <That's it. laughs> yeah i should have uh i should have done it like two-handed like i was teeing off at, at the golf course <laughs> but alas i did not but i did do nine points of damage to it yeah so you yeah. yep you just like in the in the character's animation run uh like the monk like naruto running with like the staff trailing behind you you just go behind it and then with like one hand you swing down and bash the rat in the back of the head you see the the damage number pop up as it digitizes and disappears and dies as soon as it dies i'm just gonna do a huge ridiculous flourish with the quarter staff i'm talking like flipping around the head around the back up into the air catching it like full da 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 <laughs> and I'm just gonna like slam that right in the ground. All of ours just it. standing there, just yeah. clapping, metal clanking as he does it. <laughs> That's a really good idle animation. And I'm just gonna <laughs> yeah. lean against the quarter staff, checking my fingernails, and then like scratching the back of my head, like ugh. scraping All of off just on my slash pants. claps. <laughs> just <laughs> slash <Yeah>. claps. <laughs> Where, where did you learn that? Where did where did you learn that? Were you were you an honor guard or something in high school? Like what what did what where did you learn that stuff? That don't make no sense. Oh yeah, I mean you could you could say I've uh, been around. I know how to use one of these things. I've uh, got some experience. You know? <laughs> yeah, Ask me you what know. I care. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. You're welcome. God, you sound so familiar. Huh? You too. You sound like a wussy guy that I know, but I, uh, he, he, no, uh, that can't be him. I don't, I don't know. 
Um, you wouldn't pick some some no, no, generic no. pick like face like that. That don't make no sense. Come on, I'm out of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to Lyle and and just like put my hand on him. Like, are you are you okay, Lyle? So there's this uh, okay? a sound effect plays and you hear like cheering even though there's only one npc there's like a bunch of like cheering that like plays fanfare and uh lionel looks at you and says wow that was a close one i think you guys have learned enough you can go on ahead to the mainland be careful adventurers and as a token of my thanks have 20 gold. So, add an additional 20 gold. Solid. For each of us, or, or, or divided? Each of you. <laughs> yes, so that Beautiful. is... That is the end of our session zero. Session one is where the adventure really starts. And we will let you guys know when we go live with session one. But, TB... uh, TBD. Yes. Hopefully I have a, 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 a real desk at that point. So y'all won't have to look at my couch. I don't know. You look quite comfy. Yeah, I am pretty comfy. I think you should keep the couch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a casting couch, you know? If anything, raise the couch up higher so I could see your whole body just laid down and like relaxed. Yeah. I would love that. A therapy session, just... <laughs> just unconscious. <laughs> yeah. It all started with my father. <laughs> you want to know how I got these stains? <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> so <laughs> let's go on ahead and wrap it up real quick, huh? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Thanks nope. for watching and listening to this uh, first session zero. If you were watching on YouTube, like I plan on uh, getting this up, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed as I as I clean things up and make it look all nice and and wonderful. I'm your DM and host, Danny K. My players are Indy Falco, Quasar, Zombie Potion, Mandachi, and Mr. Green Elite. Bye. Our art is done by the lovely and talented Jezza Rose, and we use Siren Sound for all of our sound effects. Thank you for watching and listening. Next show will be announced on Twitter when we have a date set. We appreciate you guys very much, and have a fantastic evening. <laughs>